Hi guys and welcome back for another video. My name is Eddie and I hope you're having a great day. Ni hao, shalom lekulam, hola i buenos dias. Dobro pozdravljati na čirednoje video Dragova Dimasha Kudaj Bergena. This is the 8th episode of I am Singer 2017. We are finally here watching Dimash performing Daybreak. Uh, so many of you, you know, uh, directed me to Gloria Wu's channel and uh, I was not, uh, you know, turning the closed captions, the other, uh, the other video and uh, you said to me that for this video I just have to watch it with the subtitles, so of course I will see it with the subtitles, but I wasn't able to save the video with the subtitles, I don't know I just couldn't so uh, the version you are going to see are going to be without the subtitles that translate from Chinese and uh, I'm going to see it on my screen so uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the way uh, I was able to, to set it up now you told me in the comments that uh, this was about a true story of some kind of tragedy, like a ballad of some kind of tragedy. It, it is interesting, is Dimash uh, chose this uh, song? And I understand this is a Chinese song that uh, Dimash um, took upon himself to, to study uh, phone uh, phonetically, you know, without speaking the language, so it's very interesting. Guys, as always, if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe and like. I produce videos every day. With that being said, let's get started. No voice, no voice. Oh my god. He has to perform uh, and he has no voice, he lost his voice. Wow. How can someone sing with no voice? So the doctor knows Dimash? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, it was injection to the... Oh! Man, this is only a competition. You have to watch your health. He was injected with something to his throat. Oh my god. This is only a competition. Can't he not show? Good luck! Yeah, I will try my best. Nice to see him, uh, you know, keeping his uh, good attitude. He's not thinking about uh, disappointing the, view <laughs> the, the, the viewers and the fans. But I think he should, uh, you know, postpone the... Uh, Daybreak. Oh, 
Han Hong is the original songwriter, right? So this is a Chinese song. What a nice picture of him with uh, <laughs> what a heartwarming uh, you know picture of uh, him with his uh, family. So much emphasis must be on uh, you know the connection with his relatives and family. Car accident and four tourists in China died. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is a ballad about uh, lost people, lost love. He had no voice a couple of hours ago.
He had no voice. How? First of all, I want to say that I don't know how was he able to perform, uh, you know, a full, brilliant song with, uh, you know, uh, with without any compromises. I think I didn't hear him uh, compromise, and uh, all this while, uh, you know, uh, at this day or maybe the day before, he had no voice. He was sick, and he was getting all these. Uh, terrible treatments, I don't know what it is, but uh, it was uh, looking uh, <laughs> scary to me. Uh, that, that was amazing, you know, uh, I looked at him, uh, especially uh, toward the ends of the song, and uh, he was singing, he's able to make his, uh, you know, um, voice like he is crying. Okay, uh, on me it и такое впечатление, что его голос, он как бы плачущий голос, поющий плачущий голос, он умеет передавать эти эмоции, как никто другой. Uh, it was brilliant. Uh, he had one, you know, run to higher notes. I don't know if he changed the song because of his, uh, you know, uh, illness and the loss of voice, but uh, this one run that he does, did, was uh, very on place uh, and uh, uh, it was, uh, you know, adding to the song. I don't know if the original singer uh, had this kind of voice to, you know, make the song, uh, you know, this uh, uh, emotional and powerful, but uh, for sure I can say that Dimash make it both uh, uh, emotional as only he knows or one of the single performers that uh, I know who can do this and of course with his higher pitch and the power of his voice in at least one round run you know that he has he's making this song very powerful it, it, it like uh, you know he's seasoning it with uh, these powerful abilities and for me that makes every song better much much better you know it was uh, another uh, you know uh, song that demonstrated uh, maybe you know the best qualities of dimash uh, it was a sad story, a ballad, but you know, sometimes these uh, sad stories makes, uh, you know, the best ballads. Um, I am also very, you know, glad to see that, uh, you know, he chose the song and he's not going for the more, uh, not always going for the more, uh, you know, popular and, uh, you know, catchy song. So, uh, I think this is a win-win situation for all of the people. And another thing, um, I think he sang it in Chinese, right? So uh, I don't know um, how close the Kazakh uh, language to Chinese, if any. And um, uh, this is amazing uh, for me to see, you know, he, he was talking about it, uh, you know, uh, that uh, um, he took upon himself this uh, challenge to, to study and to, you know, produce this song, his style. How can someone take in a short time a song in uh, a difficult language that you don't speak and, and make it, uh, you know, uh, your own? This is unique ability. Um, I know that nowadays he is uh, learning uh, Chinese, but I think that at the time of this uh, performance uh, he didn't speak a word. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is very impressive. So, uh, yeah guys, thank you for watching this video with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Litraot, adios.